Oh, to be these dogs. Especially this one, the king of the pillows. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Um, if you're new here, I'm Melissa. I'm a dietitian and we talk about food and stuff here. So it's like nine o'clock right now. Um, and I was going to do a bar class today, but I did a really hard one yesterday and I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired. So instead I did yoga with Adrian's, I think it's just called like morning yoga. It was like 35 minutes and it was pretty relaxing. So did that this morning, just took a shower and now I am about to eat. So this what I eat in a day is slightly different because I'm not gonna cook at all. I am actually home alone for yesterday, today and tomorrow, my husband's out of town. And then we're going out of town unexpectedly Thursday and Friday, so I really, didn't feel like buying a lot of groceries that would just sit in the fridge or making food that would go bad all that sort of stuff so um this is going to be a very like simple no cook one person what i eat in a day so obviously it's breakfast time we're gonna get started with my usual breakfast my yogurt um which i will show you even though I've showed you a million times, <laughs> but I am actually out of raspberries today, so it's gonna be only bloobs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make my yogurt now. And there we have it. Doesn't look super pretty. So I'm just going to go eat this and I haven't decided if I'm gonna work while I eat it or maybe just watch a YouTube video. We'll see. It's actually a decent day outside, so I'm gonna eat out here. All right, I just finished breakfast and like I said, I'm feeling a little bit tired today. So I'm gonna make myself a little matcha. This is the Pure Chimp matcha. I got it off of Amazon. It's good. I mean, I don't have a ton to compare it to, but I think it's really good. I am about due for a new one. It's like almost empty. I like this little glass jar. I can definitely use this for something after. But anyways, I'll show you how I make this. So I take a cup, I put just like a dash of water, and then I feel like somewhere on here it says to put like yeah, this says half a level teaspoon. I like triple that. I put like a teaspoon and a half because um, I was I felt like it wasn't strong enough. Um, so I'm gonna put like a teaspoon and a half ish, and then I got my little this guy, which it's from Joe's Teas. Again, I got it off Amazon, but this really has made a really big difference. Before I was trying to just like you know, mix it up with like a fork or something. And I felt like half of it ended up stuck to the bottom of the cup. And so maybe that's why it was too um, weak. But anyway, so I'm gonna mix that up. So I got this vanilla syrup because I felt like pretty much every recipe on the internet called for vanilla syrup. And I was kind of feeling like the lattes I was making weren't quite there. And I still feel like I haven't f like fully got the perfect one. This is definitely getting closer though. So to this like little mixed up, it's a little thinner than a paste, I would say. I probably put a little too much water, but I'm gonna add like, I don't know, two teaspoons of this and then just mix that up and then i don't really have like a measurement for the milk i kind of just like pour it until the cup is full <laughs> um i would guess it's maybe a cup of milk um and i'm using oat milk i've never actually tried this one the califia farms one i normally have oatly but so i'm gonna do about that much and then again mix it up because it does tend to like get stuck on the sides like that so that this is really good for that so then once i've just like made sure to get it off of all the sides and the bottom and stuff i'm just gonna add some ice 
and then it's all done. All right, I'm gonna get back to work now. I'm now working out here because it's so nice outside. It's like breezy and just pretty. I feel like Barney's just being extra, extra cute today. You're so freaking cute. And then there's this big smush. You can barely fit on the couch. Brody's leg is always hanging off the couch. <sighs> you guys. All right, I put makeup on my face because I had a meeting for work and I'm gonna go out in like an hour. I did, a, I think maybe you can tell. I, so I tried this new, not that anyone cares, but I, I tried this new concealer and I thought I really liked it, but it just totally like destroyed I don't know how, how does one show their under eyes? It totally destroyed my under eyes. They look so dry now. And my eyelids too are all dry right here. And I'm really disappointed because I really liked it. Um, but anyways, this has kind of turned into a, my dogs are being cute vlog. And I'm just starting this now because I'm pretty sure Barney is sleeping on my bed because I don't see him anywhere else. And I'm going to now show you how cute he is. Even though I haven't looked, I'm just assuming he's really cute. There's that cute one. All right, let's see. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, so everyone's just being real cute today. But I'm about to eat lunch and I just wanted to touch on something because I'm really not that hungry right now. And I feel like, you know, I talk about intuitive eating a lot. If you haven't seen my intuitive eating videos, I will link them um, because I talked about all of the principles in depth. And one of them is, um, you know, listening to hunger cues and basically, you know, not eating when you're not hungry, but also it's so important to be flexible. And really, you know, that is what sets intuitive eating apart. It's really having the flexibility, listening to your body, but also knowing that sometimes, I mean, pretty much never, it's, it's not going to be perfect. And today is a good example of that. So I'm not that hungry, but I know that I'm about to go out in like 45 minutes and I'm probably gonna be gone for like two hours and I'm definitely gonna get hungry within that time. So it's a lot better for me to just eat now and avoid being like starving when I'm out. So today, uh, like I said, not doing any cooking today. I'm having a bagged salad, which I've actually been enjoying quite a bit recently. Um, we found a Harris Teeter one that we both really like. So I've been having it a lot as like sides with dinner and stuff. Unfortunately, they were out of that one when um, I went to the grocery store yesterday, but I had this same one yesterday and it was really good too. So this is the HT Traders barbecue ranch salad. The one I normally get is the HT Traders Southwest salad. This one definitely is not as healthy as that one. This one has um, some bacon and well, I guess that's really it. Um, the dressing's a little heavier, but you know, flexibility. Um, so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch and I'll show you it finished. Here she is, my nice big salad and I'm gonna eat it, obviously. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hello, I'm back. I did a little bit of thrifting uh, it was very unsuccessful, but now I'm back. I'm having a post thrifting snack of apples and peanut butter. There she is, <sighs> the beautiful snack herself. Um, so then I just have a couple more messages to send for work and then I'm going to film and edit another video real quick and then hopefully I will be eating dinner after that. That took significantly longer than I was hoping it would, 
but I am now very hungry and I'm ready for dinner. So let me show you what I've got. Anytime Sam is gone, I like to order Indian food because he doesn't like it. So we never get it and I love it. So um, I ordered Indian last night and as you can see, I have much left over and I probably have enough for a meal tomorrow too. So I have, can't remember what this is called. It's like a yellow lentil doll. I will put it on um, the screen. This is called vegetable Momo, which I had never had before. And then I have some vegetable pakora and then just some rice and I have a piece of naan left over. I, when I tell you guys, I had like double this amount in my cart before I checked out and I was like, one person does not need $40 worth of Indian food. So I cut it down significantly, <laughs> but I'm going to have a mixture of these things. All right, so I have some doll with rice and then some of the other things as well. Kind of have a feeling this is gonna be too much, but we will find out. Hi, <laughs> as you may be able to tell, it is a little later. It's like nine o'clock now. I am in relaxation mode, finally. Um, I was planning on having dessert of some sort and then I'm just not hungry. So I'm not going to have that. <laughs> um, so I am going to go ahead and end this vlog. I've just been watching some YouTube on the TV. I don't know about you guys, but I just, <laughs> I have a YouTube problem. I watch too much YouTube. I have such a long, like, watch later playlist that, you know, if I can just get an evening of watching YouTube for an hour or two, I'm okay with it. Probably need to work on that. That's not to say you should stop watching YouTube because you should probably keep watching at least my channel. But <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming along on the day with me and enjoyed the like super simple, no cooking, just for one person kind of thing. I figured it was just a little bit different from my typical what I eat in a days. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see more of like what I'm getting up to on a daily basis. And I post mostly food pictures over there so you can see what I'm eating. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. I'm going to go fall asleep now. Bye.